Hi classes, here's a quick video to show you how to do analysis in Finale with our current template. Now I've just made this template and if you're doing it on an older project it may not have these shortcuts installed. Um, so if that's the case, um, just contact me and I'll send you the new template <clears throat> or you can learn to program the shortcuts yourself. That's what I'll show you both things right now. Okay, we have a, uh, uh, a um, project right here and we want to analyze it. So the way it works is that we use the expression tool. And if I click on this, you'll see, uh, double click rather, you'll see that a bunch of things show up and one of them is Roman numerals. That's what you would go to. So if it doesn't look like this at first, just go to Roman numerals. And you can see there's a bunch of Roman numerals there. And down at the bottom are some analysis symbols, arrows, brackets, dotted arrows, dotted brackets, um, MI symbol. Uh, there's stuff here that there's a thing to say contiguous, chromatic, and something else which I can't remember that is constant structure. So some various things there. Now, a couple things. You can make your own. So if you need to make something, you just say create, uh, create something. Click on that and then type in what you want and save it. Or you can make a shape there and save it. Uh, the other thing is, the most important thing is that you can create shortcuts for these things. And um, I've done some. But as you work, and depending on what level of harmony you're in, you may want to change some of the shortcuts. So I will now tell you how to do it, and I'll tell you what which ones I've done. I have put the following, the, well, the way you do it, by the way, say I wanted to, the way you see the shortcut is that it's in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so that, this arrow uh, symbol is now got the shortcut of eight. And so what that means in practice is if I want to put an arrow in my score, I got to be in this, uh, uh, tool and then I just simply hold down the number 8 and click and it becomes an arrow and then I can move it around with this little handle and I can even stretch it out if you double click oops if you if you get that little handle happening and you double click on it you can um, you know change the shape of the arrow make it longer shorter stuff like that oops um, so, oh, so just doing some weird things. Okay, so now say I decided that I wanted to, I didn't like that shortcut. I didn't like the shortcut 8 for arrow, and I wanted to make it say A. I would select it. I would hold down the, the key Shift and the letter A, and I would get, now it would be, uh, that same symbol would now be, um, I'd hold down A and click, and now the arrow appears because, it, because I've changed it to A. I'm going to put this one back because um, I, there's a reason I didn't use A. There's a reason I used H instead, which I'll explain in a minute. Okay, that's how you program a shortcut. So the shortcuts that I programmed in, into this template and many of the newer ones, that is ones that were created in fall of 2015, is um, the following. So we're in the key of D, this is a one chord, so that means that I need to call it one major seven. So I just hold, the shortcuts for diatonic seventh chords are the numbers one through seven. So I just hold down the number one, click, and one major seven a, a, appears, and I just drag it into place. This is the three chord, so I just hold down the three button, and three minor seven. This is a secondary domino, I'll come back to that. This is two minor seven, I hold down the two, click on that, and this is a modal interchange chord, I'll come back to that. Okay. So now let's go back and do our secondary dominant. This is 5, 7 of 2. Well, a minute ago, I held down 2, and I clicked to, uh, to get my 2 minor 7. Well, um, tactilely and visually on the, key, on the computer keyboard, if I slide my finger off the 2 downward, I, I arrive at the W key. So it's like the W key is related to the 2 key because it's right below it. And so on that key is where I put the secondary dominant. Since 2 is the 2 minor, the W, which is right next to the 2, is 5, 7 of 2. So you hold that down, click that, and now you've got 5, 7 of 2. Now if I keep sliding down, I, I end up on the S key, and the S key is sub 5 of 2. So if you're in um, uh, harmony 3 or 4, you might need that one. So it's all related to 2, though. 2 is, is the minor 7. Slide off the 2 downward, get to W, that's 5, 7 of 2. Slide off the W downward to get to S, that's sub 5 of 2. And then finally, over here we need um, flat 2 major 7 is a modal interchange. So slide off of S downward, you land on X, and that's 5, 7, I mean that's uh, 
the modal interchange chord that relates to two. Now, we, there aren't enough keys to do all the shortcuts, but these are sort of the, some of the more common chords related to the number two. Two minor seven, five seven of two, sub five seven of two, and flat two major seven. And they're all in a sort of a, a bit of a, a squiggly um, line downward from two, the number two. And that's the way I program these shortcuts. Now, after seven, the first seven letters using up the seven diatonic chords, there's some extra numbers, and that's where I put eight for arrow, and I think I did, what's nine is a dotted arrow, and then bracket, I don't know if it is currently assigned anything, let's see, it's assigned zero right now, so the solid bracket, and so I'm going to just hold down a zero, and then I get my solid bracket. Now, uh, as you work more, if you needed a dotted bracket a lot or other things that aren't here, then you could set your own shortcuts because so, now you know how to do it. And, um, of course, I don't have shortcuts for all the deceptives or anything, so those where you'd have to search for them and uh, find them or make your own shortcuts. Okay, so that's it for using Finale Analysis Template as of Fall 2015.